Hello, my name is Jim Ward and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be discussing how to properly rename a server hosting the PDM SQL database. When a server that is hosting a SOLIDWORKS PDM database is renamed, there are several things that must be done so PDM will continue to work properly. This video will demonstrate the steps as outlined in SOLIDWORKS Knowledge Base Article S-015959. A PDF of these steps can be downloaded from that article. If the PDM database is installed in the default instance of the server, then restarting the SQL service should update the server name. If the PDM database is installed in a named instance of the server, then the steps below must be followed. In both cases, once the server name has been updated in SQL, then the name must be updated on all archive servers and on the clients. Note that these steps cannot be used to change the name of a named instance. So instead of changing the instance name, you would create a new instance with the new name and copy the database to the new instance. For an example, your database is referencing MB1 instance 1. You can rename this to MB2 instance 1, but you cannot change instance 1. So which type of instance is your vault using? To determine whether your PDM is using the default instance or a named instance, you can do the below. Go to the archive server and open the PDM archive server configuration tool. Open the folder archive. Look in the column database server. If it is just the server name, then this vault is using the default instance of SQL. If it is a server name instance, then it is using a named instance of SQL. The overall required steps are verify your current SQL server name and rename if necessary. If SQL server and archive server are the same server, then you will need to follow steps to update the archive server name as well as the SQL server. Update the registry on the database server. Update the registry on the archive server. Update the registry on the client. If using a web server, then update the registry for that. And then last thing, don't forget, if using SQL queries for your list, you must update the from SQL server field. The first step is to determine what type of instance your vault is using. So to do that, come over to your start menu uh, this is, by the way, on your archive server. And then you scroll down to the SOLIDWORKS PDM folder. Here it is here. Open that up and then go to the archive server configuration tool. When you're in the tool, go into the archives. You'll see your vaults are here. Notice this is the column for your database server. So this particular archive server has three vaults. One of them is a standard vault. And um, two of the vaults are going directly to the database server. And the last one has a named instance. Here I am on the login screen in SQL Management Studio. Notice the, uh, the server name. This is the old name. I have renamed this server now to PDM-Test. So I believe if I go to Test 2, I don't think it will connect. And connect. So here we are. So we're now looking at the default instance um, on the server. If you notice, if I look at my databases, you'll see there's the Kinesio Master DB. And then there is the, da the database for two of the vaults that are on this particular server. So the first step is to run a query to verify the default instance name has been changed to the server name. So I have already created those, those queries. Let me go find them. So the first thing to do is to just verify and see what server name is currently using. Even though the directions say that just rebooting the server should be enough, I did reboot this server, but I notice see it's still using the old name of test2. So what I need to do now is I need to drop the old server name and rename it to the current server name. So we can do this in these two queries. So, and by the way, notice that I'm running this against the master database. 
And by um, highlighting items in, in the SQL Management Studio, I can determine which parts of this query are run. So I'll choose an execute here. And it says that the command completed successfully on both of those. Now let's go back and verify that they actually got renamed. So again, I'll only run the top portion. And I did discover that before this command um, SQL at, at, at server name will retrieve the new server name, you have to restart the server. I will select that and choose execute. And now it does show the PDM dash test. Now, if you recall, on this same server, there's another vault that is referencing a, an instance of SQL. And so in order to access that instance of SQL, I have to close SQL Management Studio, restart it, and then on the server name here, I choose the PDM-test and then the instance name. So now when I look at databases, yeah, I can see that um, there is the database I'm looking for and the Conditio standard. So let's open up a, that same query that we were using before. And so once again, let's uh, verify the current server name. And notice it still says PDM test to SWPDM. So we're gonna change that. And again, we are leaving the instance name alone. We can only change the server name. So I'll execute that. Now, what, what I discovered before is if you run this, at this time, it does not show the new name. If you run help server, this will show the new name down here on, on line two. To really have the the server name up top here show the new name you have to restart the server i have restarted the sql server and now i'm back on that same um, select sql server name so i will select that choose execute now and notice now it comes back with the proper name the solarworks pdm database tool is a software that works with the pdm database to do things as required it is this tool that sends out notifications and it manages replications in a multi-server environment. Usually this tool is on the same server as the SQL database, but it can be installed on any server. And so sometimes you'll find it on the archive server, but it does need to connect to the database. And therefore when the SQL server is renamed, the, P the PDM database tool needs to be updated to the new name. Now, to find out where it is, you can come over and look, go to your start menu and come down to SOLIDWORKS PDM. And you see the database server configuration tool. And this is used to enter the, um, the, the credentials to log into the server. But for the server name, you do have to go to the registry. So you can type regedit if you want to bring up the registry editor. And then the place that you go is HKEY Local Machine, Software, SolidWorks, Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, and then Mail Service. So on the Mail Service, you'll see there is a server, and this is the database server. And therefore, we need to um, select that and change that name to the new server name. Now again, you have to update the registry on the database server and the archive server. Now in my case, they are both the same server, and so I will update the registry here. You need to go into the vaults. So this is HKEY Local Machine. So HKEY Local Machine, Software, SolidWorks, Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, archive server, and then go to vaults. And in vaults then, you select the vault, and here at the root level, you see there's a server name. So double click that, and switch that over to just pdm-test. I'm gonna copy that because it needs to go in several locations. So I'll tell that okay. Now you need to do this for each of your vaults. So this particular one, this is the, um, one that's the PDM standard, which has the instance name. 
I'll tell that one OK. And then here's the EPDM. If you double click that, that's what brings it up. So you can change the name. But now on your clients, and this is on, and it's a good idea to, to install a client on your servers. So this server does have the client. Your clients are all listed here under the same location, PDM Works Enterprise, at, but databases. So now you will go into your databases and then modify your clients. Now your clients have both the DB server and the server LOC. So we need to change all of these folks in two locations. Actually, it's, it's four locations because this is um, two locations, one for 64-bit, one for 32-bit, when we're changing the name for both the DB server and the archive server. Again, if your DB server and your archive server are on different servers, you only need to change the one for the database because that's the one that we changed. Now, the second location in the registry is for 32-bit applications, and that's under WoW 6432 node. So we'll come down here, go into SolidWorks, Applications, PDMWorks, Enterprise, Databases, and again, we'll go to each of the vaults. And be careful when you change the, the name for the um, instance that you don't get rid of the instance name. All right, so now we have the, the registry has been changed. Now, this particular server does not have a, um, a web server. One last area that we need to go to on the client is actually we need to go to the HQ current user. And so we will close HK local machine, go to HK current user, then again, um, software, SolidWorks. Applications, PDM Works Enterprise. And the place to change this, if you go down to vaults, and we can see the different vaults. If your client installation was done uh, for an individual user, you would come here under vaults, and this is where you would change it for vaults. Now, in my case, um, I installed this for all users, and therefore the only location I had to go take care of was over in HK Current User. Now, the last thing to do is to come here to Kinesio Admin, click Kinesio Admin, and again, this is under HK Current User, and delete that. By deleting that, that gets rid of the current settings uh, for, for the old um, name. And when you restart PDM, it will restart it with the new settings. Now, if you have installed the old web client software, not the, the current web two, which is what we are recommending most people use, but if you're still using the old web client, then you will need to go into the registry and modify the web entry for that. And please refer to the PDF for the proper location for that. Now, the last thing that I mentioned is to that we do need to come into the PDM administration tool and for any SQL listings, we need to update those listings. Let's do that. We'll come into and notice that while um, th this is only a test system and therefore I don't use passwords. So we need to go to um, lists for cards. And I happen to know that users down here is actually an SQL. So from SQL database is what you're looking for. And the server needs to be modified here to the proper server name. So I'll remove that test too. And um, just closing it is how you save it. And one last thing to, to think of when you are changing a server name is that your licensing might also be on that same server. And if that's true, then you need to come into your license and you need to change the uh, licensing server here. Now, in my case, my licenses are held on a different server, so the server name change did not change that. Lastly, to verify that you've made all the changes correctly, you should go to 
the client that is on your server and go ahead and, and log into the local view there and make sure that it works. And in our case, it does. So yes, we've done everything um, correctly and everything is now working. This has been Jim Ward from Go Engineer describing how to rename a server hosting the SOLIDWORKS PDM database. Thank you for watching. Thank you.